explosive report by the DIG of prisons in Karnataka, which has pointed to just how Sasikala, who earlier was ex-chief minister of Tamil Nadu, has been treated, sorry, Sasikala, ex-AIDMK secretary, was being treated in prison. Apparently, she paid two crores bribe for an exclusive kitchen. If you're a VIP like Shashikala, then it doesn't matter if you're in jail. You'll get special privileges, for a price, of course. And in the case of the former AIADMK General Secretary, the cost was allegedly 2 crore rupees. In a report by Karnataka's Deputy Inspector General of Prisons, Rupa Mudgil, who inspected the Bengaluru jail on the 10th of July, a separate kitchen has been set up for Sashikala. This special benefit after prison officials, including Rupa's boss, the DGP of prisons, H.N. Satyanarayan Rao, were allegedly bribed. I have not written anything without proof. In that report, there are facts which even now can be proved. So, let there be an inquiry. An embarrassed state government has ordered a probe and Rupa's boss was quick to dismiss the allegations, calling the report baseless. She is in an ordinary woman's barrack, first floor. Okay, and there is nothing, no undue favors being done, even in the matter of visitation. She is consuming prison food brought from our kitchen. Because we have to ensure that there is no poisoning. Special privileges for the VIPs and the money bags inside the Bengaluru Central Prison is not unheard of. Earlier in the year, a RTI reply showed how 14 times visitors were allowed to meet Sasikala in a span of 30 odd days, while the jail manual allows only one visit every fourth night. The report also mentions how Abdul Karim Telgi, the kingpin in the fake stamp paper racket, gets four people or four helpers who are often seen giving him a massage. The ganja business is also thriving inside the jail. 18 people out of the 25 tested were seen to be addicted to ganja. In earlier occasions, SIM cards, mobile phones and cigarettes have been recovered during raids. <laughs> The latest corruption charge comes at a time when Sasikala's review petition in the disproportionate assets case is about to come up in the Supreme Court. With Harish Upadhyay, Amitabh Revi, NDTV.